What's going on, Awana? This is Mr. David. As promised, this is day one of the Bible challenge or reading challenge um, that we have for you. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet as I promised. Um, just a quick couple minutes to reach out to you, um, connect with you, let you know that um, I miss you, um, the student ministry misses you, and we cannot wait to uh, get back um, in church and be able to bond and connect with you face to face. Okay, so let's, uh, let's pray real quick. Bow your heads, please. Dear Lord Father, we thank you for this time, Lord God. We ask that during this time, Lord Father, your spirit is felt, Lord God. And what is needed of you, Lord Father, is received. We thank you for the ability to continue to connect, even though it is not the normal way we've been doing it, Lord Father. But we thank you anyway, Lord God. We thank you for the change that is happening, Lord Father. The ability and time that you've given us to sit still and truly look on to you, Lord Father, for guidance, Lord God. We we praise you for the things that we're doing, Lord Father. We thank you that, that your, your word is true, Lord Father, and that we can rest upon you, Lord God, because we know that you're in control of the situation. So we just say thank you. We also ask that you forgive us, Lord Father, for the times that that we need that forgiveness, Lord God, for whatever it is that we're going through and whatever it is that we've done, Lord God. We know that in you, Lord Father, we can be made better, Lord God. So we thank you for that. We praise you and give you on in Jesus' name on this day. Amen. Okay, so um, today we're going to be talking about Philippians and um, giving um, or showing interest to other people uh, more than you show yourself to be that person that they can actually call upon. Um, so uh, like I said, we're going to be coming from Philippians. Uh, I'm going to read a little something to you. It says, thinking about yourself is easy to do. After all, you're the person you spend most of your time with every single day. But this verse in Philippians reminds us to remember to think of others too. Thinking, Taking an interest in someone means to give them the same kind of concern that you would give yourself. If we all thought about how others feel or what others needed in addition to our needs, we would see a better relationship, we would see a better community, we would see a better world. Um, this week, I want you to find one thing you can do to go out of your way to put the needs of someone else in your life before your own. Yes, before your own. In Philippians 2 and 4, this is the verse now, I'm going to read the Amplified Version because it says it very plainly, very easy to understand. Um, I know it's not the general verse that we use, but it gets the point. In Philippians 2 and 4, the Amplified Version reads, Don't merely look out for your own personal interests, but the interests of other people. So, or the interests of others, excuse me. Again, Philippians 2 and 4, the Amplified Version reads, Don't merely look out for your own personal interests, but also the interests of others. When you come back to me, your challenge to read that verse, it doesn't matter what version you use. It could be New Living Translations, it could be ESV, it could even be the uh, King James Version doesn't matter as long as you read it to me and then give give me a quick idea of what that looks like to you and how that applies uh, again Philippians 2 and 4 uh, that's the challenge I also challenge outside of the the reading to me I would challenge you to do exactly what it says uh, I want you to uh, uh, this week coming up or Monday through Friday or whenever you get a chance. I want you to go outside yourself to find something or someone that you can pour into um, uh, or actually allow them to pour into you. Be that, be something that they need. Be that person. Um, even if it's just listening. Sometimes some people just need to be listened to um, and don't need uh, a response from you. So allow that for them. Give them that something something that if you were feeling that way you would want so I, I would I would encourage you to do that and then um, uh, just take note of how that felt and uh, what that did for you and that relationship with that person uh, again Philippians 2 and 4 um, I miss you guys I can't wait to hear from you um, remember every day I need to see a post back from you of the verse so um, let's go ahead and pray it out and I'll let you guys go for the day Dear Lord, Father, thank you for this small moment of time that you've given us to share with one another, Lord God. I, allow, I ask that you bless um, uh, Awana, the church, and the kids on the other end of this, Lord Father. Um, 
fill them with love and compassion, Lord Father, and empathy, Lord God. Allow them to stay encouraged, to be strong in this situation, Lord Father. Um, if they are struggling in any way, Lord God, I ask that you you uh, meet them where they are, Lord Father. Pull them up, grab them, Lord Father, and shield them from 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 the situations that they're in, Lord Father. I ask that you uh, bless their families that are dealing with things. I ask that you bless their friends that are dealing with things, Lord Father. We also, at this time, want to take a special sh uh, take time to shout out the first responders as well, Lord Father. Those people that continue, Lord Father, to put their life first, Lord Father, to in this time that they're continuing to go out there every day, Lord Father, day in and day out, to to be that bridge for those folks that are sick, Lord God, that they're responding, that they're caring, that they're doing, Lord God. We just thank you for that, Lord Father. We thank you for them, Lord God. In your heavenly name, Lord Father, we ask that you continue to bless this church, Lord Father. Bless this community, Lord God. Um, allow us to stay connected with one another, Lord Father. Allow us to continue to reach out, Lord God, knowing that someone's going to be there on the other end, Lord Father. And we, we praise you. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Later, fellas. Ladies, have a great day.